There is breaking news now on Fox News Channel. I'm Shepard Smith on the Fox News deck. The five will return in just a moment. But first, there is a standoff in Philadelphia right now. And Fox News Philly, Fox 29 in Philadelphia, is reporting at least three police officers have been shot. This is an active scene. Details coming up. The area is Nice Town Tioga, which is on the north side of Philadelphia, near Temple University. It's Health Center, so near Temple University Hospital. Police say the situation is still active and ongoing. Several police officers have been injured. Jason Martinez, who's a reporter at Fox 29 in, in, in Philly, reports officially three officers shot, one in both arms, one in the hand, and one in the head. All three officers taken to the nearby hospital, uh, and the officer who is shot in the head is said to be conscious and alert and communicating with authorities and with hospital workers. This began with what has been described as a wild shootout. We don't know what, how it began or under what circumstances, but more than 100 shots fired, according to witnesses and reporters on scene. We know that there was a, a shootout. Uh, at least at one point. All of this began sometime after 4.30 this afternoon Eastern time, so about an hour ago. We believe at this moment, from police reports and otherwise, that there's a standoff right now, that a suspect or multiple suspects are believed to be holed up inside a building, likely a residence, and that police are attempting to negotiate at the moment. We know that a number of suspects are in custody. We have reports of anywhere from one to three suspects in custody. We don't know what began this shootout or who the officers are who are injured. But at this moment, it does not appear that the, the officers about whom I'm speaking uh, have life-threatening injuries. Now we have just confirmed, Fox News has just confirmed, the actual number of police officers shot is four. So an absolutely wild scene on the north side of Philly, a nice town Tioga near, uh, near the health center there for, for Temple University. The local newspaper, the Philadelphia Inquirer, uh, is saying that the first shots were fired just about 4.30 and the specific location is the 3700 block of North 15th Street. The shooter was inside the house, in the block, still firing shots shortly after five o'clock Eastern time. So 30 minutes ago, one shooter was inside a house firing from that house toward officers and others as officers reportedly returned fire. One officer was struck in the head, as I mentioned, conscious, alert, and communicating with authorities. This is, we have a number of uh, news stations with whom we work in Philadelphia. One is local CBS station in Philadelphia, which is our network news service affiliate. CBS 10 is reporting, and I quote, it was like a scene you see in a war at a time when everybody was having dinner. Uh, continuing now, that one officer hit in the head uh, is conscious and communicating. That's according to police now. We have that confirmed. Second officer hit in both arms. Third officer shot in, in, in the arm. And now the report of a fourth officer shot. That has been confirmed by Philly police. Uh, at least one suspect in custody. But there is a massive response in North Philadelphia. Live pictures now on the ground. We're, we're being careful not to show police movements. Uh, but here's how it started. According to the, our network news service affiliate, CBS 10 in Philly, police were first called to the scene for a narcotics activity. That's according to the Philadelphia police, cap, a Philadelphia police captain on, on scene. And again, from, Fox, from uh, NBC 10 in Philly, it was like a scene you see in war at a time when everybody was having dinner. This is daylight. Children are running around playing. Fox 10 with the, I mean, uh, Philadelphia 10, NBC 10 saying that, yes, it's four people who have been shot. Officer calls for everything you've got. SWAT, long gun, a law enforcement official can be heard saying on audio, and I have an officer shot. So here's the latest as we know it. Four officers are injured, shot and injured. At least one suspect in custody, maybe multiple. As you might imagine, getting information in a scene that is so chaotic as this has been difficult to do and certainly understandable that the authorities are working to get this scene under control. The last confirmed report was that they are still seeking a suspect who was holed up inside a building. Uh, we haven't gotten an update from police in just the last few minutes, but 
at last report, uh, that was confirmed. Uh, and the police response has been extraordinary. Uh, we can see on other cameras that we're not going to show you because of the police concerns that the suspect might be watching television. So there are other angles that I have that I'm not going to show so that the suspect wouldn't have a chance to see it. But police cars, dozens and dozens, I'd say as many as 100 on scene now. And a, a large part of this neighborhood around the Temple University Health Center is shut down as police are working an active shooter scene.